Under a freezing night sky, riot police move in to clear Independence Square. They haven't managed to do that yet. There's a standoff, but police have surrounded the protesters and are dismantling barricades. Protesters have been here for over a week and they don't intend to leave without a fight. This looks as though it's going to be a long standoff. Here's the new police line and just a few meters away now, the protesters have established a new makeshift barricade and there they plan to stay until the situation changes on the ground. Just hours earlier, the EU foreign policy chief, Catherine Ashton, had visited the square. It was a very different picture then. And there's still hope that a peaceful solution could be found to end this crisis. The United States is also pressing for diplomacy. Under Secretary of State Victoria Nuland was in town. Earlier, President Yanukovych was in talks with his predecessors. They've brokered deals in the past and they're hoping to do the same now. I'm strongly against opposing relations with Europe in favor of relations with Russia and vice versa. We need to find a way to reunite. But there's no unity here. Anger over the cancellation of a deal that would have led to closer ties with Europe has outraged many. But Yanukovych's closest foreign ally lives in Moscow, not Brussels. And as long as the Russian president opposes Ukraine forging closer ties with Europe, Viktor Yanukovych's hands are tied. But he is free to show who's boss, and that's exactly what's happening here. Even with the highest EU delegation in town, there's been a real show of force on behalf of the government, indicating that enough is enough and it's time for everyone to go home.